Ciao! I'm very excited for this, my first YouTube video, because it marks the beginning of my personal web learning project. It's a new way to teach for me based on this innovative and powerful platform that we have, Internet. I'll upload several piano lectures regarding the classical music. Um, as a project in which I deeply believe because it, if, uh, it will give to me the possibility to share my passion for the classical music with all of you. And uh, on the same moment, it will give to you the opportunity to investigate several aspects of the piano. I'll be fully happy if just one of you will be likely interested to watch the following video. Because it means I'm planning, I'm planting the musical seed in your heart. I decided to open this YouTube channel with a lecture about the history of the piano. So before to investigate composers, repertoire, and an analytical aspect of the musical sheet, I guess it would be very interesting and useful to have some historical and technical information about the development of our instrument, the piano. This lecture will be divided on two videos. In the first video, I'll begin with the early isolated examples uh, that we have tracked in the 15th, 16th, and 17th century on, of the striking mechanism, uh, that is, uh, the mechanism the piano is based on, and I reach the complex hammer action invented by Bartolomeo Cristofori. Um, that is credited of being the inventor of the piano as well. On the second part of this uh, um, lecture, I'll present collateral developments of piano mechanism from the Christopher one uh, to the contemporary piano, describing all the changes that led to the modern piano. The pianoforte is a string keyboard instrument built around a striking mechanism. This mechanism distinguishes the piano from other string keyboard instruments like the harpsichord and clavichord, whose mechanism was uh, well known by the 17th century. The harpsichord produces sound by plucking a string with a jack when the key is depressed creating so uh, loud sound, not having great expressive variation of the sound. The player, in fact, cannot affect either the timbre or the loudness. The clap chord produces sound by striking the string with small metal blades called tangents. The tangents touch and maintain contact with the strings during the tone production. This mechanism allows expressive control of the sound. The instrument is capable of dynamic nuance of the color, but the volume is very soft and um, it's not indicated for large performances. Instead, the piano produces sound by striking string with covered hires and combines loudness with control of the sound. So far, the origin of the strike mechanism can be traced back to the 15th century, when Ericus Arnaud Zwoller uh, wrote a manuscript that thus provided a refutable evidence that the strike mechanism was conceived and apparently constructed by the year 1440. Arnaud was a physician, uh, astronomer, and a musician in the Burgundian court of Philip the Good in uh, Dijon from the 1432 until the 1461, and the later served Charles VII and Louis IX in Paris. The Arnold's manuscript, probably written in Dijon, provides technical descriptions of stringed instruments like harp, cigar, and clavichord, etc. Uh, adding details and drawings of, of um, plugging action system and a striking mechanism as well. Additionally, several documents indicate that such a string action 
may have been known in Italy in the 16th century. So, those documents include a group of letters written in 1598 by Hippolyto Cricca to Cesare Dezio Modena, and a series of inventories drawn up at the request of Cesare, uh, Cesare Desse between the 1598 and the year 1600. Crica, known as Palerino, was an organist and a caretaker of the instruments of the court of Ferrara. He refers to keyboard instruments uh, that were capable of dynamic gradation piano e forte. Crica's term piano e forte suggests the presence of a special mechanism capable of creating soft and loud properties not generally associated with the harpsichord. Otherwise, it's imprudent to allude, that, um, to, allude to a hammer mechanism when it refers to dynamic gradations. Unfortunately, the striking mechanism that we can see with Arnaud and with the Politocrica fell into disuse until the Bartolomeo Christopher's invention of the pivoted hammer and escape mechanism around the year 1700. Bartolomeo Christopher was born in Padua, Republic of Venice, on the 4th, 1655. 1655, and passed away on January the 27th, 1731. In the 1688, at age of 33, he was recruited to work for Prince Ferdinando de' Medici, and that's considered the first event of his life of which we have any record. The salary was to ask Scotty per month. The job interview took place on uh, March or April, of the, six, of the 1688, and the work started on the same uh, year, uh, on, Mar on May. At the request of the Prince Ferdinando, uh, Bartolomeo Christopher tuned and restored valuable holder harpsichord and worked on his uh, various inventions as well. Christopher's uh, earlier inventions are listed in a bound manuscript dated 1700 was how author is unknown uh, because the title page is missing. This manuscript is entitled Inventory of the Diverse Types of Musical Instruments Owned by the Serene Prince Ferdinand of Tuscany. Inventario di diverse sorte di strumenti musicali in proprio del serenissimo signor Principe Ferdinando di Toscana. The manuscript lists first a spinettone, a huge multi-choired spinet, uh, that's an harpsichord in which the strings are slanted to save space. And this invention may have been uh, meant to fit into a crowded orchestra pit for theatrical performances while having the louder sound of a multi-choired instrument. Then we have the oval spinet, longer strings in the middle of the case, then the clavicitarium, upright harpsichord, and it lists uh, two harpsichords, one of them as an unusual case made of ebony. Furthermore, the 1700 inventory is a remarkable source uh, because it presents a new instrument described as a large keyboard instrument by Bartolomeo Cristofori of new invention that produces soft and loud, with two sets of strings at the unison pitch, with soundboard of cypress without rolls. Un arpicembalo di Bartolomeo Cristofori di nuova invenzione che fa il piano e il forte a due registri principali unisoni, con fondo di cipresso senza rosa. The Medici inventory goes on to describe this now lost instrument in considerable details, and it's clear that the Christopher's Arpicembalo che fa il piano e il forte was invented in or before the year 70, 1700. That's an um, 
uh, unimpeachable source that the first Cristoforo's pianoforte has been constructed by the year 1700. This invention was announced in uh, an article by Scipione Maffei, poet and uh, librettist, first published in the 1711 uh, uh, in the Giornale delle Letterati d'Italia, and then reprinted in 1719 in the Rime e Prose. As Stuart Pollen states in uh, the early pianoforte, the fact that this distinguished literacy figure undertook the remarkable challenge of describing a new and complex mechanical device provides some indication of the broad interest generated uh, among intellectual circles over Christopher's piano. Maffei, in fact, describes the new invention in a very detailed manner. Even uh, if he was not an instrument maker but only a man of letters. He made with uh, Bartolomeo Cristofor in Florence in uh, the 1709 and 1710 and admits uh, that this new mechanism was difficult to understand and to describe. But the Christopher's invention consists of a, a complex hammer mechanism in which the hammer strikes the string uh, without remaining in contact with it and without dampening the sound, the opposite of the tangent mechanism of the clavichord. Furthermore, indeed, the hammer quickly returned to its rest position uh, through a, compl a complex escapement mechanism. That was an incredible invention. Compared to the harpsichord, the armor mechanism allows dynamic nuance from piano to forte. And compared to the clavichord, the armor action creates a more sustain, and so piano is definitely uh, more loud, even if the Christopher's piano was made of uh, strings more thin than the modern piano is made uh, of today. The instruments described by Arnaud and Hippolito Cricca were probably unknown to Bartolomeo Cristofori. Uh, they testify the existence of the striking mechanism during the 15th and the 16th century, but they appear to have been isolated as examples. The complex Cristofori's hammer mechanism has to be considered a real new invention, and it represents a model for the different approaches at the piano action that followed, and that uh, I decide to explain on the second part of this, uh, of this uh, video.